Hey guys, Brandon with Electrical Specialist. Uh, it's day 14. It's one and a four, one of the other hands. Um, just thought I would uh, catch up a little bit on how things have been going of the 75 hard. Um, just let you know how I'm doing with each one of the elements. Um, again, I'm not putting myself through the gauntlet here. I'm, act I'm ramping up as I go. I'm actually taking it uh, somewhat easy on the start just so I make sure I get all of them and then I add as I'm gonna go that's how I'm approach that's my approach anyway uh, I'll just run through them here first workout um, I was already going to the gym uh, about six to seven in the morning uh, so there's my first workout um, I've already got a routine I need to change it up a little bit because it's kind of getting stagnant a little stale but it's working. Um, it's getting my first 45 minute workout in before the day starts, which is where I like to get it anyway. The second workout, I was actually about to head out now. Uh, every week I'm adding one more, I think they're three and a half pound weights that go in these things. So I'm starting off because of my knees. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to end up feeling like I want to quit halfway into this thing. So I'm ramping up as I go, letting my body kind of get used to it. Uh, so this week I'm on my fourth, fourth weight here. Uh, I think I'm probably 20, 25 pounds on it so far. Nothing crazy, but it, it does make a difference. I sweat a whole lot more when I go out. So, uh, we'll see how that continues to go. Uh, 10 pages a day. I don't have my book in here, but I'm reading how to hire the best. I'm actually flying through it. Uh, 10 pages a day, I, it feels like it's way more than I used to read, even though it's only about five more pages. Uh, still, it's cooking me right through this book and I'm kind of excited to get on to the next one. I like this one, but it's allowing me to highlight areas and uh, kind of focus on just those 10 pages instead of flying through it or just doing two pages at a time. Uh, my diet. Uh, I'm still sticking with the app Lose It. Uh, it's something I know a few other people are using. Um, it's just an easy way to, if you make a burrito, you can either put in all the green ingredients one at a time, cheese, sour cream, you know, hamburger, whatever it is, or you can just type in bean burrito or beef burrito, whatever it is, and it'll come up with a generic close, um, you know, calories and protein and what stuff like that. So I'm just making sure that every single day I keep track. Right now I'm kind of doing it at night. I need to be doing it as I go because sometimes I forget things like a handful of peanuts or whatever. During the day I forget my snacks uh, sometimes. So I, I need to really do it as I go to do it right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no cheat meals or alcohol. I haven't had any problem with that yet. Again, it's only day 14. So, um, you know, I, I, I gave myself a decent enough diet at 2,500 calories a day that I'm not really fiending for any, any sweets or anything like that. I think though, after 14 days of this, I think I do need to ramp down the calories. I think I might go down to 2250 or something like that. Uh, give myself a little challenge cause it doesn't really feel challenging enough to be honest. And I, I, it's only been two weeks, but I'm not seeing much progress. I'm staying pretty even on the scale. I think what that is, is a lot of water weight. I probably am losing some weight, but I'm building muscle. So I'm kind of balancing out. I think as guys, it's much easier for us to fluctuate. Um, I know the ladies have a harder time with that, but uh, um, I was expecting to see some pounds come off, but at the same time, I think muscle's just replacing it, so uh, not much change there. Uh, water, it's actually probably been the easiest thing. As long as I drink, I usually drink one as soon as I wake up, and then um, I got a little thing of pills like any old person uh, that I, take in the morning. So I usually end up with two of these before I even leave the house, take one with me, have three before lunch, usually get one back after lunch, um, have a couple with dinner. The only problem I'm having is if I've got two of these left at bedtime, 
you know, I don't really want to wake up twice in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. So I'm trying to get most of these down uh, before 9 o'clock at night, which hasn't been a problem except a few times, but I need to watch that. Uh, the progress picture, I kind of see what everybody's talking about now. I Almost every day, as long as I get up in the morning and I'm not in a hurry, boom, take it in the mirror, it's done, no worries about it. Uh, twice now, I have been reading on the couch uh, after dinner, trying to get my 10 pages in, and I really like to, you know, highlight things as I'm reading. I'll doze off, and I'll wake up and think I've already went to bed and freak out because I missed my progress picture. Well, I haven't actually gone to bed yet, so I'm not going to count that as a loss yet, but if I had gone to bed and passed out in bed before I took the picture, that is a loss. So I see how so many people can fail because of a simple project picture, So, or... Uh, yeah, it's so, because of the picture, uh, progress picture. There you go. Just couldn't think of it. So definitely it's important to get to bed so I can get up and have time to not be rushed and get it before I get out the door. Uh, speaking about the water, if anybody's got an idea on a way I can pull this off without recycling a thousand of these, uh, please let me know. But I, I don't have a filtration system. Um, I do have a, you know, half gallon jug I could bring with me, but it still doesn't solve this problem. So if anybody has any ideas on that, let me know. Cause I, I am a recycler. I like to, and I know uh, probably half of these probably don't make it to the recycling center, but I do my part, but I can't guarantee they're doing theirs. So I'd like to find a different method. Uh, let me know how it's going with you. I'm sure we're all, you know, doing different things. Oh, if you're going to go running at night, you might want one of these guys. Uh, I just use the red light just to make sure that nobody runs me off the road or doesn't see me. Uh, like dogs beating on the door because she's telling me to put on the vest and she knows it's time to go. But um, I found this very helpful because I walk on a gravel road at night that's not lit. Uh, so you might want to get yourself a light if you're going to be walking at night. It's something I didn't think about. This is actually my work headlamp. Uh, I just pulled it off my bag. It actually works great. Um, so reflectors or something, you definitely want to get out there. But Back to it, let me know if you've got something that might help me or uh, just ideas on the, how how you're doing. I wanna know how everybody's doing, um, if they're also following along. I'm not sure if anybody is, but uh, it'd be nice to know some tips on what you ran into, um, how many times you gotta pee a day, and uh, however else you're doing. But just checking in, day 14. Hopefully I got another 14 days we can catch up again. But uh, Brandon, electrical specialist, have a good weekend, guys.